Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. We have a break in the winter. Uh, it's super icy on my back alley. I can barely stand. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get out of here, uh, but let's hope I'll make it to the main road. And I wanna take the bike for a little spin because it was uh, really cold uh, for quite some time. We already had temperatures of minus 30. And, and uh, today we have a Chinook wind. So it's uh, it warmed up a little bit. So I will try to go for a little short ride somewhere just to take the advantage of the weather. As long as I can get out of here, that's the main thing. The pure ice can't even make a break here because if I break the wheel is gonna slide so you're just gonna slowly roll through this thing you can use a hockey skates here not a motorcycle the hardest part is to get out of here once I get out of here I should be okay There's no tires that are made for ice, unless I would put a studs. <laughs> and it's on top of it, it's super windy today. As you see the flag, the pride flag is waving in the front. Almost there. Okay, I'm on the road. Yeah. years ago we had a much better weather for that we had a beautiful day and uh, there was no ice whatsoever so by the time you'll see this video <laughs> the winter is gonna be in the, at the full blast just gonna be careful because uh, I don't want to hit any icy patch and a couple days from now the snow is in the forecast, so we have Friday today and I think they're forecasting snow already for tomorrow. So it's gonna be more of that white crap on the ground. Ah, it's nice to be on a bike again. At least for a little bit, get the fix. before I start thinking of coming back uh, through that same section on my back alley. That's gonna be interesting to get the bike into the garage. But if we came out, we will come in. But as long as you have a warm gear and the road has no ice, and all is good. I wish to find some snow on a side road somewhere, not ice, and uh, slide, uh, practice some slides a little bit. I removed all the luggage uh, for the side luggage from the bike, the panniers, so the bike is easier to handle because I didn't want to have all this extra weight. Normally I travel with all my luggage, but it doesn't matter if it's short ride or a long ride. But uh, this time I decided not to, just to have more control of the bike. Wow, that sun is surely bright. the mountains in the background like the car totally covered in snow right now the ski resorts are open already for a couple of weeks now because we had a lot of snow 
just last week a little bit a little bit of it melted well actually not a little bit quite a bit but that's here in the city and uh, in the mountains everything is still covered in snow and will be covered in snow for another six seven months in front of us if we're lucky to get uh, some decent days uh, end of March really curious if there's gonna be any other crazy person like me that decided to go for a bike ride today it looks like the snow is brewing here in the uh, clouds clouds they don't look too promising and I'm heading towards the mountains I was thinking of uh, maybe take it to Brack Creek or Kananaskis country uh, towards Elbow Falls or McLean Creek uh, let's see how far I'll get A while back I made a review about those uh, wind deflectors that I installed uh, and about the wind noise uh, they, they work, uh, believe it or not they work unfortunately with the wind today I think uh, that uh, I'm still gonna have a bit of an audio issue inside the helmet uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it's gonna be noticeable for sure it's, uh, it's helping a little bit at this point as well but uh, it will not be as uh, good of an audio as I would normally have uh, because before my issue was uh, when I was riding at the higher speed and the wind was hitting the front of the camera or front of the helmet where the camera is mounted and uh, it was creating um, wind noise uh, in a video and that solved it but uh, today since the wind is coming uh, sometimes from my left side at this point before it was coming from the head on uh, right on top of the helmet so the, yeah there will be a bit of an issue I will get to Brack Creek and I'll have to get some gas. There's a car in the ditch. Yep. I wonder when that happened because uh, he has to be here for quite some time because we have uh, haven't had any bad conditions uh, for for uh, over a week now. The, the road seems to be dry in the city and here, unless he fell asleep. Another month and we will have Christmas. Can't believe how fast the time flies this year. And it will be time to plan another trip for uh, for this year. What's uh, what's gonna happen in 2023? I do have Alaska in mind, but uh, I'm not sure if I really want to go there. Um, I know it's popular; everybody say, "Ah, oh, yeah, Alaska is great," but uh, it's always cooler out there, and uh, or colder out there. And uh, after spending six months of winter in the city and then head out to Alaska to uh, have crappy weather for most part of a trip, uh, I was following Ichiboots. So she had it out there uh, in June, by the looks of it, uh, from what I can estimate. Uh, because, uh, yeah, her videos are always a um, couple months uh, behind, I would say. 
because uh, just a couple of weeks ago she just got home and I'm pretty sure when she was filming that video that was uh, June so uh, it's the same on my channel there's no way to keep up and edit on the fly because uh, at this point uh, there's nothing to hide I'll make about $50 a month from YouTube so there is not much uh, profits there yeah I wish uh, more people would subscribe to this and uh, help me out and uh, like the videos comment a little bit more because I see some people are watching it but uh, to get the subscribers it's a little bit more challenging for a small ch content creator like me it's a bigger challenge to get through all the barriers and algorithms of YouTube to get ahead well the main thing is that I still have fun doing it and uh, you know I'm not rushing nothing here so So we got some fuel and I'll head back a little bit more towards Kananaskis and see how it looks over there. As soon as I got closer to Kananaskis uh, Provincial Park, it got really dark. I have a feeling the snow is uh, any minute because I don't want to get caught in the uh, snow here, that's for sure. And it's not looking beautiful. It's I'm curious if that's even accessible, that road here. Let's try this out. your eyes here can't even move that's crazy I got my fix, at least a little bit of riding. I see people along the road here collecting Christmas trees or pine trees for Christmas. We did that also a couple years ago, but ever since I decided to go with the artificial tree. I had a real Christmas tree for many years, always, and uh, it was getting to the point where if you were buying something down in the city 
it, uh, the price of it got ridiculously expensive. Then uh, last Christmas tree we had, we actually picked it out here in McLean Creek, but uh, it's too much headache. Oh, I thought that this area is supposed to be closed. I guess it's not closed yet. So I'm going past the above falls. With me, things are always changing pretty quickly. <laughs> But one way or the other, uh, like I'll get up the hill there somewhere and I'll start turning around. It is getting quite cool. All right, it is snowing already. So my predictions were correct. Let's get the hell out of here. Just gotta find a place to turn around because I don't want to turn here on the around the corner. My the car might come out. Yeah, there we go. It's snowing and the temperature is dropping quite quickly. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that fine snow. Oh, huh? it's uh, picking up more and more. <laughs> okay, I should be able to turn around somewhere here. There should be a pullout if I remember. Let's get out of here. Where is that pullout? There it is. So that will be enough room to pull around. To turn around. Wow. That's not expected today. They didn't forecast any snow, but that was in the city. And again, here we are in Kananaski's country in the mountains. So... Let's bolt out of here. Yeah, it's still snowing here, but the, the road is getting dry. There we go, Beaver Flats passing through this. And yeah, I'm not stopping anywhere, I'm just going straight home. Because uh, with this wind and uh, temperature changing that quickly and snow, it will change everything very fast. Now we're chasing the blue skies. I'm out of the park now. Skies are looking blue again. So I can take it easy now, no worries. It's all behind me, but it's coming towards the city by the looks of it. So I should be fine getting home. I didn't even expect that, that I will encounter a snowfall out here today. The mountains are always unpredictable. Temperature can turn on a dime. Be nice to get some sun to warm up. It's still behind the clouds, but maybe once I get closer to the city, it's gonna come out. It is quite chilly out there, and I have a sweater. I have a long jones under my uh, my suit. And the worst thing is for toes; they're getting quite cold. Hey guys, if you like that video, do me a favor. Hit that like button, comment down below and subscribe. That's a little reward that I can get for making those videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers for now.